Hi everyone, and welcome back to East Shades. Uh, today begins the third day of our adventure. Last time we journeyed from Lindau to the front gates of Nava, only to find out that we will need three letters of recommendation before being allowed to enter in the city. Uh, also on our journey, we passed by a pretty incredible uh, treehouse. Uh, but most notably, we met a park ranger named Victor. Victor has been trying to catch a water fox uh, with little success. We were able to pick up an egg uh, our our walk down to the beach. So let's head back um, where Victor was uh, raking some leaves and see if we can't help him out. All right, let's get started. All right, it's morning time, so let's go ahead and uh, go outside. We stayed um, at the uh, Kestrel, wait, there's more to it, Kestrel Peak Inn? I think so. Oh, maybe we can't use our map in here. Oh, that's right. It was called the uh, Kestrel's Irie. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way down this path here. And I believe there he is. There's our friend Victor. Now, he said that the water fox was only a short distance away. Um, so let's go see if we can find that water box. Uh, I didn't see any cave openings by the big tree last time, um, but we haven't really explored this hillside. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. Here we are, uh, off-roading again. Um, I'm really glad this game has a jump option. There we are. And we're back to the end. <laughs> Oops. I'm sure most of us are dreaming of this kind of a uh, landscape right now. It doesn't really snow here very often, but it does get bitter cold, especially uh, first thing in the morning. Um, and my office in general uh, is pretty, pretty cold. Oh look, inky caps. So I'm kind of nice to imagine being somewhere that, uh, you know, might feel like the uh, perfect date in April. Hmm. More of a autumn girl myself, but uh, there is something about uh, those first uh, few months of April before it starts getting way too warm. And it kind of still damp, and the rivers and streams are full of all that uh, mountain runoff, and it just feels clean and fresh. I don't know. Not a huge fan of summer. Summer was just like sweaty, smelly to me. I don't know. Uh, everything just smells like hot asphalt. Uh, I don't know. Definitely spring and fall for me. I think we're kind of going a little too far here. Okay, so let's backtrack just a little bit here. Maybe I did miss a cave on the other side. He said it was only a few paces away or a few steps away, so I'll have to trust him on that one. What about you guys? If you could just permanently live in any season, what would it be? I know some people really do love winter and some people do love summer. I mean, it is the time for camping and barbecuing and uh, 
a lot of uh, places uh, of employment, everything just really slows down. I mean, you're in school. Um, certainly things uh, either stop or, you know, uh, summer sessions are usually pretty chill. So. Some roots here. Can't get over how absolutely huge this tree is. Have you guys ever been um, out west to where the giant redwoods are? They're literally unbelievable. Like, imagining all those trees and knowing that there are prehistoric trees that were even bigger blows my mind. Um, guys, do you see what I see? We may not have to wait until we get a jacket. Look. Oh, just keep hooting. Get out our... Don't go away. Okay, let's see if we can make one. Um, oh, what if we get... Alright, let's see if we can wait um, until our owl friend uh, pops their wings again. exciting um the last time i played east shade um i think i had to wait until i could get um a jacket um i'm pretty sure it's a nava you get a jacket and um oh gosh and it's gone now wow we're so lucky oh i can't wait to show annika uh don't get me wrong the the night pictures of the owl are pretty well pretty but I mean, nope, not those. Oh, it's so cool, set against the moon like that. Oh, today's going to be a good day, I think. Guys, I'm not seeing a cave. It's got to be near a body of water, though, right? Creeps around. Um, he's over here. This does look like a path. Thank you, Cap. So, I will be the first to admit that I have played literally thousands of hours of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Um, it's my comfort food game. I don't care. I don't care that it's a decade old. I love it. Um, it took me about 500 hours before I realized that, um, just, just follow the rules. Like, I can't tell you how many times I got stuck, like, on the side of a mountain or fell off a cliff or, you know, something silly and I realized oh my goodness you can see the roads on the map <laughs> you should just follow them and to just follow the road <laughs> and I think we've been rewarded this time too <gasps> we found a cave found it perfect look See 
he does it. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, let's go tell Victor. Oh, let's get away. Get out of here. You managed to trap him. I heard the shrieks all the way above ground. I need to administer the sound. <gasps> oh my goodness. We did it. Oh, poor little guy. Well, I guess I should thank you. I was ready to give up on this damned water fox. Listen, it's pretty clear that you're a nature lover. I don't know how you managed to catch that animal, but I do appreciate it. Reading books, sir. Let me show you how to make a snug tent. Should be useful for someone like you. Roaming the country and all. It will give you a place to relax if you need to kill time, and shelter if you find night sneaking up on you. Oh man, thanks, Victor. Wow, this game is super dark. Hmm? Um, how about a letter of recommendation? Sure, I can vouch for you. You really got me out of a pinch there with that water fox. Oh, thank you. Mm, city folk. It's like they've never seen a trail before. <laughs> Always trampling through the foliage like animals. Oh, kind of like us. Oh, man. Thanks, Park Ranger Victor. <sighs> we saved the water fox. He's still in there? No, he's gone now. Maybe we'll see our friend later. Alright, well, that being said, we also just painted a picture that we should probably take to Annika. Um, I'm guessing it's about mid-morning? Oh, oh, 11.17. It's almost time for, uh, it's almost time for the eclipse. For someone who's a little bit of a scaredy cat, most of the time, I have to say, I do like caves. Um, I've gone on a couple of cave tours, not like any spelunking or anything, but um, there is something about caves. They're old and um, there's so many hidden secrets of the world in there. Um, and, uh, one of my favorite things that I did in school is, uh, uh, during one of my photography classes, we got to take a little field trip, um, to a local reservoir, and I found an old coal cellar, and, uh, it was cold enough that I really wasn't worried about snakes inside, um, so I kind of crawled in and, uh, took a picture, um, from inside the coal cellar, like, facing out, and it was fall, so the leaves were super crisp, and, uh, that was, that was the best. Um, a lot of people took pictures of the outside of the coal cellar, but, I don't know, I just kind of wanted more. Alright, Annika, we're just gonna walk in your house like last time. What? You painted that owl? C can I buy it from you? Heck yeah. This is great! Ooh, ooh. Is this too many glowstones? I wouldn't know. I've never bought a painting before. You've got a real ear for birds. Let me know if you ever need anything. Well... For a friend like you, of course. Aw, oh, thanks, bird friend. Fancy, fancy city okay. folk, okay. but they do buy my pots. Well, I'm glad you like your painting, Annika. Bye now. <gasps> Guys, we got two letters of recommendation. By before noon. We're just busy, I guess. <laughs> All right. So that leaves us with just one. Um, let's go back and um, we did help a fellow with the pot on his head and for some reason his name just escapes me. Um, but yeah, let's talk to a few people in Lindau and maybe someone will be willing to vouch for us there. Oh, it's so neat. It's so neat.
I know we picked all the roots on our way out of town, so I'm hoping that means that some of those feathers have respawned for our rotor friends as well. And we still need to figure out the story between behind the um the tower um that's all locked up on the coast. Watch me soar like a bird! Oh, just just don't soar too much, friend. I have to come up here and just stop. Oh, hello. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Oh. Sure, I can do yeah. that for you. Oh. I was actually thinking that she was going to tell us about her wiggly critters. Take care now. All right, well, we officially have all three of our recommendations, but, um, you know, while we're here, let's make sure... Yeah. my wings yes you are you do keep flapping it just on the ground oh, hello my cousin is so full of energy one day he's flapping around like a bird and the next he's jumping everywhere claiming to be a frog his disappearance was all very mysterious I don't believe anyone's seen him in a long time. The abandoned tower? Oh yes! I saw that from the ship. It looked as if there was a light coming from inside. Could it be a lighthouse? That's what I thought too. I would if I could, but I'm not a resident here. We haven't really done her any favors though, but it gave me the conversation option, so. Alright, have a good day. So if that's your cousin, who's mom and dad? So this is mom, I think. Would you like a ride to Nava? You've already paid the toll, so it will be free for you. Uh, not right now, Tippa. Thank you. My ox is strong, no? Yes, your ox is very strong. Maybe use the steps. Be nice if we could talk to the people here. I just don't want to get ahead of myself, um, in case I've missed something here before we move on to the city. Oh, hello. Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Uh, thanks for getting Nika. Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Beeswax. Maybe try it again? 
Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Uh, thanks for getting Nika. No problem. Alright, I think that's everyone, guys. Um... Anyone else in the end? Nika's at the pavilion. Here's our... I just can't wait to go home and show everyone this magnificent portrait. The beauty of my features entirely makes up for your lack of proper art training. Wow. Thanks, guy. What about you? I will not write you a reference. We already have too many vagrants in Nava for my tastes. Wow. Thanks. Okay. Well, um... That's enough with this visit. Uh, see you later. Um, Tanaba it is. Let's see what we see on the way. Actually, what do we need to make that tent? Let's say we wanted to keep going down that road past the tree. Um, Why? Hmm. Looks like something we'll have to learn still. All right. But we have our three letters of recommendation. We saved the water box. And we painted a picture for Annika. It's a good day so far. I know we can take the carriage and travel a little faster, but is that really the point? So we know how to make a tent. We don't know how to make twine. Um, Perhaps let's stop and talk to our friend down here. What can I do for you? How do I make twine? Ah, a blossoming botanist, I see. To start, you'll need some roots. You can find them at the bases of trees. I can show you how to make twine, but it is a process. I see you're a painter. I would so love some artwork in my home. I'm right. quite partial to sandy beaches. What do you say? If you make me a painting, I'll teach you how to make twine. Uh, that sounds I great. I look forward to seeing your work. Mind the plants underfoot. So, we did see a beach. I don't know if you would consider it sandy. Um, but he might like it anyway. Also, let's see how far we can go up here. Um, when I was looking for the cave, I noticed that um, you could get to the water from up top, or at least I thought you could. No. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's go up the other way. I know there's a proper path down to the beach. We met the gentleman who uh, was missing um, his family amulet. Um, but I think we're going to need a boat if we're going to help him. I understand the purpose of invisible barriers in games, but um, sometimes I just want to go. I want to want to see things. Oh, look at the butterflies. Well, we're here at the Irie. 
let's go ahead and head down to the beach. Um, I don't think it's a sandy beach. I think it's more rocky than anything, but, um, you know. What are rocks but just really big sand, you know? Okay, I know sand is more than just rocks. It's also salt and crushed up seashells and things, but still. See how far down we can go. We need to take a we need to take them up there. This is neat. Um Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Well, that's nice. Beach. Nice. I'll say it's a great uh, view of that shipwreck out there. It looks super old. Some more reeds. Well, I was thinking there's that path that goes left. I'm not sure about compass direction, but there's that path that veers left from the tree, way past that other tower with the zip line, and it'd be nice to venture out that way, but I don't want to be caught out without a tent or some other way to keep warm, so Definitely did not follow the road today. Did I just come down to the beach? I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, really need to learn how to follow roads at some point in my life. So past the Irie and down to the loft. What time is it? Five o'clock. Let's go see our friend and see if we can find our way back to Nava. Maybe we'll come back to the Irie. Nope. <laughs> Danger flower. No black thistles for us.
I thought for sure the first time that I played this, that beach looked far too rocky to be called a sandy beach, but I guess it is different. Um, he does live by a river, so maybe, you know, it's different than a river beach. I think that's the thing. River's edge. Bojan? Alright, on here. I have your painting for you. What can I do for you? I have a, I have a painting. Oh. Ah, a blossoming botanist, I see. To start, you'll need some roots. You can find them at the bases of trees. I can show you how to make twine, but it is a process. I see you're a painter. I would so love some artwork in my home. I'm quite partial to sandy beaches. What do you say? If you make me a painting, I'll teach you how to make twine. I look forward to seeing your work. Wait, do we not plants paint under something? Foot. Oops, wrong thing. What a lovely sandy oh. beach you've painted. Would you be willing to give it away for the opportunity to learn? Absolutely. This is splendid. It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. Now, here's how to make twine. Mind the plants underfoot. Nice. I mean, how do I twine now? All right, I think we have just enough time to get to Naba. I'm assuming there's an inn there um, and settle in for the evening. Oh, this is exciting, guys. Okay, just because we learned how to make it, let's, let's do it. Um, it's literally just roots. All right, so now we have some twine at least. I guess it's the same. Oh, we're almost there. It's getting dark though. Going to the big city, guys. I can't wait. We also have a prank that we're supposed to uh, contribute to there. Um, again, I'm really hoping that we can buy a coat uh, there uh, just so we can um, stay out longer. Uh, the carriage driver. Alright. Alright, Effie. Oh, look at that. Do you have your references in order? Yes, ma'am. Hmm, yes, it appears everything is in order. Go right ahead, then. And welcome to Nava. Thanks, Effie. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. <sighs> All right, I know it's getting late, but we have to. Look at this. Oh, spectacular.
Oh, they turned the lights on for us. That's nice. Okay. Can't wait to explore this place, but I think... Yeah, inspiration is correct. Um... Yeah. Oh, you know what? This looks like a very typical in sign. Let's, uh, pop in. Oh no! Okay, so... We did complete our quest items, but we are now back at the Kestrel's Irie because, um... We were out too late. Alright, well... <sighs> let's sleep. And at least let's go to Nava. And then we will start our next day. Ay, 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 ay. I waited too late. I shouldn't have stopped and painted that picture, but it was so pretty. Alright, let's do it. We're going to Nava. And we will pick up our fourth day there. Okay. Do we have... What are we missing to make another... We need boards. Well, so we'll just know that once we get boards, we should come back to the Irie and take a picture of the giant tree um, first thing in the morning. That, that was quite the sight. can't be disappointed. It just means that we have to walk back to this gorgeous city again. Oh no. I like that it didn't reset our progress. It's just like, oh, you got cold and tired. Go back to sleep. That's fair. Say hello to Effie again. Can I help you? Let's say. Oh, Can I, I guess. You? I guess not. Stay okay. safe now. Uh, okay, so in like real life, I would be having an absolute like meltdown. I don't care for bridges. I definitely don't like heights, but man, that's something. Is that another tower on a zip line? I wonder if they're connected. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, uh, looks so cold. And here it is, Nava. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's where we're going to wrap this up today. I hope everyone is enjoying this series as much as I have. 
Um, when we come back next time, we will start on day four here in Nava. Um, and I believe we owe someone a prank, and there's an entire city for us to explore. And hopefully, we get to buy a coat. In the meantime, everyone, if you are enjoying this series, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, happy sipping.